Hello, Wave Country. I'm John Ramsey, and welcome to a very special edition. It's the Super Bowl edition of Wave 3 Listens Live. It's all about the Super Bowl today. Uh, we're going to talk to some folks from Budweiser about Dilly Dilly. It's a part of the vernacular now. What a popular slogan, and we'll talk more about how that was created and how much of that you'll see during the Super Bowl. We're also going to talk about some of your favorite spots, a little Super Bowl overview. And, you know, there's a lot of adrenaline about Super Bowl. If you're a football fan, this is the biggest game of the year, perhaps the biggest game in any sport. Sport. With that being said, you get the best of the best. You get the very best, most accomplished announcers. You get the very best commercials, the very best, obviously, athletes on the field. Uh, there's a little bit of special adrenaline here in Louisville because when you talk about the best of the best, you've got to talk about the hammer. Daryl Isaacs is here, and he is involved in Super Bowl, so you can be proud of one of your own. Uh, Daryl, first of all, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. 25 years in law practice. Man, congratulations to you, genuinely. You. You, you and your father have created something very, very special. Yes, we're, I mean, growing up in Louisville and being a part of it, but um, I'm, I'm excited. You should be excited. Super Bowl is so big. I mean, this, the stage that you're on and some of the uh, commercials and advertising that you'll be competing with, you weren't intimidated at all, though, were you? Your, your commercials are very high production, but this is another level, isn't it, Daryl? Yes, it is. I mean, it's like anything else. Um, we're having fun with it, but um, it took a life of its own, and it got a little more... It got bigger than I thought it was going to be. So, but nevertheless, I, I, I'm excited for everybody to see it. See, but I'm, I'm glad you did it that way, Daryl, because you and I had a brief conversation before we went on the air, and you were telling me, you know, once you committed, you said, you know what, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to do something that's maybe a little bit out of the budget. You wanted to compete. It's like, I want to, you know, to me, if you're going to be projecting your business on screen, Super Bowl, the biggest of stages, you decided, let's go up here, right? Right. <laughs> you know, when when a, I gave her a budget, we, she didn't hit the budget. My, the producer, <laughs> she went way beyond the budget. That, that's the way it always works. It, okay. it is. So, so tell me a little bit about it, Daryl, the, the process. Where was it shot? How was it written? Uh, give us a little bit of the pull back the curtain information. Well. This wasn't my idea. My idea was, okay, you know, we did the zombies, let's do that again. And Catherine said, no, you and everybody should expect better. So she took it up a notch and um, I went down to New Orleans and um, showed up and, I mean, there was over 110 people Whoa. that has been working on this on the set. and. They brought in, you know, our, our, our giant is, was in other movies, and I mean, it was just, it, it's incredible. It's, it's mind-boggling. So you should be very proud of it. We're looking at some of the behind-the-scenes footage, Daryl, and, and uh, as I said, because you're, you're representing Louisville, I'm so glad that you decided to, hey, you know what, I'm going to go for a touchdown. I'm going to go for the win. I'm going to be the patriots of, of commercials here locally with the hammer and Isaacs and Isaacs. Now, what, what we're going to do, we want to show you a little bit of a, a 30 second promo. Now, this is not the actual spot, right? We want to right. save that. Right. We, right. Okay. We, we, you got to have the build up, right? Right. right. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look, see real quickly. This is a, a little bit of a 30 second promo. I hope he gets here soon. Whoa, my, my goodness. <laughs> this is a big time production. I watch this and I say this could compete against any national television spot that I've seen because uh, it looks like a Broadway production. It looks, I mean, you look at the sets, the costumes. You didn't skimp, did you, Daryl? No, well, I, I did, <laughs> but uh, no, and I found out when I went down, uh, they had just finished a movie with a lot of the costumes that we needed. So they were able to get it from California, and they had it for about a week, and it was amazing. Even when I first got to town, the first thing I went was go see the costumes, and oh my gosh, I was just like, wow. And then I thought, I'm paying for this, right? <laughs> <laughs> when you do a production like that, you can tell as soon as you walk on set. This, right. is, this is different. This is professional. I mean, you've got assistants to the assistant, and you, you have costume designers, oh. et cetera. So when you were there, did, did you feel like a movie star a little bit, Daryl? Did you well, pop up a little bit? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I felt like a movie star, but, um, and I don't want to give away, but the, um, what I'm writing um, took, it, it was like 
40 feet in the air. I mean, it was crazy what I had to do. And of course, you know, it's all green screen. And they had to build this thing for me to ride. And um, that's when I knew, oh my gosh, I mean, it was, it was a big deal. Wow, so. it, it is a big deal. In fact, so much so that there are actually two promos. You see some of the behind the scenes footage, some pictures here, and you can yeah. tell this is This quite castle was quite amazing, too, wow. uh, where, the, where they shot it. Quite the production, Mr. Isaacs. Okay. The, the Hammer is one of the few names in this community. Seriously, the, you are iconic, and it's due to your creativity and the commercials that you do, and of course, the quality work that your firm does, Isaacs and Isaacs. With that being said, okay, let's, let's get you know, a little bit more, a little <laughs> bit more build up here. There's another promo. We want you to take a look at. Here it is. Wow, it, it, it is. It's the medieval hammer. You know, <laughs> I, I love this. I mean, okay, so curious. I know we don't want to give away the, the commercial, and rightfully so. I, that's the way the national guys play it. It's like, we're going to make you wait a little bit. But is there a takeaway? Is there an actual storyline here? Ooh, yeah, when you see it all, that because it's a 60-second spot. So, yeah, it's and, you know, the biggest thing is I just wanted to have fun. I mean, you know, throughout all our ads, I always poke fun at myself. So this is more of a... Uh, kind of more of a, a poke at me, but at the same time, um, even, it, it was funny, another element that, you know, again, I, this isn't what I do, so I show up, but we had to have freezing conditions, and um, I mean, it was, I mean, there, we, there were some people, we were worried about getting frostbite, because they had to be outside so long, and it was, we had to wait for it to rain. So and you were like Leonardo DiCaprio. It was know, horrible. horrible. Yeah, yeah, I got oh, you. I got by you. the end of the, <laughs> and you know, everybody was trying to stay warm, and um, I don't know, some of those people, I was there for three days, but some of them ended up doing about seven days, and so, can it, that's the one thing I can really appreciate what a lot of these small films or movies or whatever go through, you know, we, we as the public don't see it, no. but once you experience it, just like the weather was terrible. I mean, How long did the entire production take? I'm curious because I know there's a lot of takes, different scenes. Obviously, as I said, uh, they didn't they didn't do this halfway. This is they are everyone here. The actors, yeah. you. I mean, production. some of the makeup, like some of the people, oh. might take three hours just to put the makeup on one person. It, it was it was crazy. Um, I don't know. I know I was there for three days, about 12 hours each day. Now I may only done an hour's work. But you know, and then um, it, it wow. and then the the editing is what's been. They had even sent some of it had to go to France because apparently they can render five times, five hundred times faster than we can over here. So the thing I'm writing, I mean, it, it it's taken about three months to create. So again, I think once people see it, they'll love it. But. I had no idea it was going to be You know, be this. there's a lot of anticipation about the commercials. That's a big, you know, yeah. it's a big focus for people who watch the Super Bowl. You have some ancillary fans, and they're actually more excited about the commercials. Yeah. So I, I'm curious, Daryl, how proud of you are? I mean, how proud of your production? Well, what commercial I'm, are you? I'm very proud because um, I, I mean, I feel like I did nothing, but they all did. The team was amazing, and um, I'm just curious to see what people think because you're going to see a lot of national ads, and I love those ads. I mean, some of them, the oh yeah, you know, you think with animals, that's what I, you know, love the horses and the dogs. But um, I think this would definitely could be could measure up, could measure up. Wow, yeah, you you mentioned, and I do think part of the allure is, Daryl. I'm this, I'm the same way. I hope I am. I, I like self-deprecating humor. Yeah. I don't mind making fun of myself, and I think people in Louisville really kind of embrace that. We try not to be a big deal, but right. in this case, you're a big deal, <laughs> whether you like it or not. I mean, Super Bowl, one of the biggest stages. Right. Television audience is unbelievable. I, you know, I just say congratulations to you. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. Thanks for, I, I can't wait to see it and can't wait to see all the ads. Yeah, well, we know, can you give us a little hint about when this will be aired, when in the Super Bowl? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I sure. don't know how. We'll usually, see. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Um, we are going to release it also on YouTube and some of those things. I'm not sure. We haven't figured out when, but um, even after the Super Bowl, you'll be able to go watch it again. Um, 
obviously on YouTube, and maybe I don't know if it's going to be on your all's websites and everything after the fact. But well, congratulations! Well, thank you. I know Thanks your father would be very, very proud of you. Yeah, that was you know that was one of the things because I was really debating if I wanted to do it again because every year you, it's like you got to come up with something. But this is our 25th year that we are in business and. He passed away last year, and I thought, you know, he's probably looking down. He would be proud. Yeah, so. he would be. He would be. And, so. and not only what you've done on television and those productions, but also yeah. the, the business, as I said. Well, thank uh, you. Very well thought of in this community. Again, Isaacs and Isaacs, we have the hammer here, so a reason to be proud. When you watch the Super Bowl, watch for his ad. We'll be talking mm -hmm. about that. The entire town will be talking about that. All right, Daryl Isaacs, once again, thank you so much for thank coming you. on. Thank you. And we'll be right back. More Super Bowl talk coming up here on Way 3 Listens Live.